The next item she sold are these panties. They are vintage Simone white sheer race, sheer lace undies, panties, and they are union made. So this is the tag. Um, you can see the union made there. She got these at, I think at the Goodwill bins also, and they sold in less than an hour. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about 28 big money or unexpected bolos items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. <laughs> I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These items come from my featured Bolo Buddies members, which means they have joined memberships to be a part of this video. There is a join button down below. If you don't see it, you can check that out in the description of the video. Level two will get you in this video. All right, let's get started with some big money Bolos. All right, the first item comes from Leo's Treasures. Check out her eBay store. I will have it linked down below in the description. So all of the eBay stores will be down below. If they have a YouTube channel, it will be linked as well. So great way to learn. All right. So the first item she sold is this cute little vintage MCM, which is mid-century modern ponytail girl on the telephone made in Japan. I love made in Japan items. I always pick them up. Um, they are a great bread and butter and oftentimes a big money item. This one here, she got at the Goodwill for 99 cents and she flipped that to flip that into 36.75 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this little plush. It is a 2021 Squishmallows. This is Noodles the Duck in a chicken costume. She got this at a garage sale for $2 and sold it for a best offer of $51 plus shipping. The next item she sold are these Burberry London. Uh, they're replacement buttons for a suit. And let me um, see if I can zoom in. There you go. And what she did is she bought the suit um, at a thrift store for $2.90, took off the buttons. I don't know if the item was damaged or what the story was, but she ended up selling these for $57.95. The next items come from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. And if you are not following the Funky Pickle Thrifter, why not? She's amazing. And she knows so much about jewelry, but she's also a bolo finder. She does a lot of vintage stuff and she is just someone to be watching. Her channel is getting really close to 5,000 subscribers. So definitely go and sub her up. All right. Let me give you an example of an amazing item she sold. This is a Warner New York Day to Night Rhinestone Mechanical Flower Brooch. And right here, let me show you how this works here. So I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm like, maybe she's talking. I'm not sure what it does. Is it doing something? Oh, here we go. Oh, there she goes. All right. Oh, wow. It's amazing. I was waiting for it. I was like, is it going to do something? So very, very cool piece there. Okay. So the funny thing, it's not really funny, but the cool thing is she saw this bolo on one of my featured members videos franklin hill ventures sold one of these and she saw the video and she's like i have one of those and she listed it and she sold it for 525 dollars. she got it at a yard sale for one dollar how amazing is that that is awesome so definitely be on the lookout for that all right let's see the next item she sold is Oh, okay. These vintage doorknobs, a lot of 11 and it's the spindles clear glass vintage. 
And she got these at a thrift store for $3 and sold them on auction for $51.01 plus shipping. I did have, um, I've had actually multiple people ask me how they know if the item is a buy it now or an auction. Uh, typically when I do the videos, I will state that. But you can also see right here, if it says four bids or bids, that means it was an auction. Um, or I will say sold for full asking price, or I will say sold with a best offer of this amount. I do take all that information down from all of the members, and I do provide that information during the video. All right, the next item she sold are these boots. They are brown cowboy boots by Ranch Road. And she got these at a yard sale for $20 and took a best offer of $105. All right, we got Double T's treasure. She hit 1,000 subscribers, so that is completely awesome. Go sub her up. And she is. Re she recently did a video where she's sourcing from a new, um, I think it's America's Thrift. I can't remember what it's called. Um, it's right here. And she had a bad experience, and they ended up making it right. And she does a follow-up video, so you can check that out right here. I think I talked about this in the last video, the other video that she did. Um, right here, the worst box ever. So this is a follow-up to that. So definitely check that out to uh, see if it's maybe a place you will want to source. So, all right. Poshmark. She sold this on Poshmark. It's a authentic Hammett black leather purse. And she got this at an estate sale for 15 and sold it on Poshmark for $170 in one week. So very, very cool item there. And she got this 1930s string guitar. She got it at a, a Goodwill. She paid $25 for it. It sold on auction for $148.20 plus shipping. And the next item she sold is this Partners Please Malco modes, mods, modes, I'm not sure. Vintage three layer petticoat square dance. And she paid $5 for this. And, uh, and she didn't tell me what she sold it for. I apologize. Um, so there's this one and this one. And this one sold for $49.97, but she paid $5 each for those. So definitely something to be on the lookout for. A very cool item from an estate sale. All right. Um, uh-oh. Did I mess up? Okay. This one comes from a rural squirrel. And if you're not following her, oh my goodness, she do does Ben's videos. She goes to the Goodwill Ben's and she finds amazing items to resell on eBay. She also does a lot of challenges where she meets up with other YouTubers and they go in and challenge it out. So super fun channel to watch. She got these teaks at the Goodwill bins. She paid um, whatever it is per pound. So these are probably two pounds or less, I would say, maybe probably closer to the pound range. And she sold these for a best offer of $78 plus shipping. And I have never found a pair of teaks, but from what I understand, they do very well. The next item she sold are these panties. They are vintage Simone White sheer, race, sheer lace undies, panties, and they are union made. So this is the tag. Um, you can see the union made there. She got these at... I think at the Goodwill bins also, and they sold in less than an hour for $89.99. And she wanted to give credit to Rachel Strickland. She, uh, Rachel Strickland has a YouTube channel. You guys hear me talk about her often. She has an amazing channel. And um, she learned about these from Rachel's channel. So check out Rachel's channel and also check out A Rural Squirrel. Um, I do think I pulled up Rachel's channel here. And here is Rachel's channel, and she's getting really close to 10,000 subscribers. So go sub her up. She's amazing. All right. The next item that a rural squirrel sold is this Be Kind to Animals Kiss a Beaver. She got this at the Goodwill for $2.99 and sold it for $39.99. Anytime you can find these shirts that say funny things on them, a lot of times those will be have a nice return. In the life of a reseller formerly uh, known as uh, Designs by Josie, 
This is her YouTube channel and she is now on Whatnot also. So you can check her out over there. I'm not sure if, I can't remember what it is. I know I followed her, but I can't remember if she's in the life of a reseller or if it's designs by Josie over there. So um, she probably has that over on her channel. So you can look it up there. All right. What did she sell? She sold this lot of jewelry and it's uh looks like a lot of turquoise and really cool uh pieces here. She sold it for three hundred dollars and she said her cost of goods was around twenty for all of that. The next item is this vintage sterling silver turquoise mother of pearl belt buckle. So she's found some really cool, nice pieces. She got this. I don't know where she got it. I think this was another thing that was just kind of a part of that uh, lot that she bought. And she sold this for $110 on auction and the buyer paid shipping. The next item here are these vintage 80s Strokers USA baggy up men's baggy pants. And they have bowling pins all over them. How fun is that? Um, she got these in a free pile and she sold these for $50 plus shipping. All right, Butterfly Hustles, uh, definitely got to check out her YouTube channel. She is amazing. Uh, she kind of took a little break. I'm hoping she's going to be back and putting out regular content again, but she is awesome. She sold this Moon Women's Design Silk Dress Native American Embroidered Design. Check this out. She finds the most amazing stuff. And she takes you into the thrift store with her. Um, so really educational, awesome channel. She sold this for $89.95 and she got this at a Goodwill for $5.50. The next item she sold is this Walt Disney World Susie from Cinderella beanbag plush. It is vintage. She got this at the Goodwill for $2.50 and sold it for $27.99 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1960s Halloween winking pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. And it's a blow mold pail bucket. And you can see it's got some of the stuff on the back also. Really cool piece. I don't know why it says winking. Am I missing something? <laughs> it, I don't see a wink. Um, anyway, she got this at the Goodwill for a dollar and sold it for $34.65. The next item is this mug. It's a Starbucks Singapore Relief City coffee mug from 2013. And it's kind of three-dimensional here. How cool is that? She got this at the Goodwill for $1.29 and she took a best offer of $35 plus shipping on that. All right, 1987 Ventures Tracy. Check out her YouTube channel. She is also over on Instagram. And she sold this... Um, Simpsons toy and this was from that big toy buyout she did and she got this I it was a bulk buy so I can't remember what it averaged out to be but she sold this for $75 plus uh plus shipping look at that the original price it was clearance of $4.90 the next item is this 1977 vintage Star Wars it's a necklace pendant with movable arms and she got this for 50 cents at a yard sale and sold it for a best offer of $45 plus shipping. The next item she sold are these um, MCM cat, um, is it lithograph? I think it's lithograph, uh, print card. And she got these at an estate sale for $5 and she sold all three for 75. So let me show you all three here. Really fun little bolo. Here's the other one. And here is the other one. How cute are those? Pretty cool, right? Nice find. Okay, the next one comes from, actually nothing comes from Donatella Bottolino this month because she went on like a month long vacation with her daughters and she has footage of that over on her channel where they went sourcing and she continued to work um, as she was outsourcing. So she wholesales items out to resellers and while she was out on vacation, she was sourcing and having live shows and shipping things out while she was out. So what an amazing way for her to spend time with her daughters, get to see like so many awesome places, see friends and family and still be able to work. So check out how she did that. It's pretty cool. 
And then we've got auctions for you and Donatella and T go back and forth on each other's channels and they basically buy things in bulk and wholesale them out to us resellers. So check them out if you guys are looking for inventory. Um, no items on eBay this month to share for either one of them, but I did want to shout them out because they are amazing and um, they've got great inventory for resellers. All right, this one comes from the Philly Flipper and his channel is just exploding. He's doing amazing. Um, lots of great garage sale videos. He also goes to auction houses and he's just doing great. So check him out. I saw on his um, Instagram how much he sold in the past month. I think he said he committed to do 50 items a day, 50 new listings, and his sales were amazing for his 30 day total. You can find that over on Instagram, Philly Flipper. He's also on Whatnot. Okay, he sold this bat. It's a Louisville Slugger uh, from 2021. He got this at a yard sale for $2, you guys, and sold it for 225 plus shipping. This is a faucet, <laughs> Mirabelle. And look here, it's got the stuff. He's got his pictures. He got this at a yard sale for $5 and took a best offer of $180 plus shipping. The next item he sold is this quick set installation kit. Here it is. No clue, but he got it at a yard sale for $5 and sold it for $175 in three days. So those items were all uh, pretty interesting and things that I probably would pass by. The next item comes from Where Pigs Fly Farm. They have a non-profit um, animal. Uh, they have animals and they take care of all these animals. And I have a whole video where I featured her eBay store, but check it out. I've got more information on this, but they are amazing. I'm going to link their eBay store down below if you want to um, buy something. All of the proceeds go to help the farm. And right here is her eBay store. I'm going to show you some of the items. Some of the items are donations, some things she gets from auctions, but all of the profits and proceeds go to support the ranch or farm, not ranch. All right. This here she got is a bronze sculpture and she got this at a live auction. She paid 15 for it and sold it for $75 uh, plus shipping on that. The next item is this crock. It's an antique blue floral glazed stoneware kitchen crock. She got this at a live auction for $3, sold it for $65 plus shipping. This is a wood bowl. It's primitive walnut hand hewn, 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 I don't know how to say it, H-E-W-N. I'm not sure what that even means, um, but it's uh, to hold bread. And she, this was donated and she sold it for $75 plus shipping. The next item comes from Egg Money Chick. Oh, this is her eBay store. And again, this will be linked down below. Lots of really fun, cool items. And she sold, this is a Lee Hickory Stripe cap. It's a condu uh, conductor hat for a railroad. And it is super cool and vintage. She got this at the Goodwill for a dollar and sold it for $86 free shipping. The next item is this rag doll. It is uh, the old lady who swallowed a fly. If you've never uh, heard of this book, uh, I actually found one of these puppets once. I had no idea what it was and mine sold for a decent amount also. This one looks to be handmade, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, they all are plush. Let's see here. Nope. It's actually, um, it, maybe it's handmade by Al Alma's Designs. Not 100% sure. But anyway, she got this at the Goodwill for 50 cents, took a best offer of $60 for that. And the next item she sold is this coffee mug. It's from the 1960s. It's a Waffle House milk glass coffee cup. And she got this at the Goodwill for $1 and sold it for $88 plus shipping. And here's what the bottom looks like. Could you like... Would you have thought to pick this up? I, I just don't think I would have thought. Maybe I would have picked it up, but I don't think I would have known it was an $88 item. So very, very cool bolo right there. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, that was...
like 30 some bolos? <laughs> Let me know in the comments which one was the most unexpected for you. And if you would like to join memberships to be featured in a video like this, again, that information is down below along with all of the sellers in this video. Great channels, great eBay stores. Check them out. Link down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.